We're now about 21 days or three weeks until your bar exam. And this is a time when the task looks pretty tough for many of you. And the folks that I'm talking with right now are commenting a lot about how much work they have to do, how much anxiety and stress comes with that. And it's at a point right now at which it's not unusual to feel overwhelmed with everything that you've got going on. Years ago, I had one of those life-altering experiences that put things in perspective for me. And I recorded a video about it, and I thought it was probably time to update it a little bit. But here's the story. A very good friend of mine, one of my first mentors in teaching, passed away after a five-year battle with cancer. And I went to her memorial service. It was held up in Troy, Alabama. Now, this individual, her name was Dorothy or Dot Davis, was the National Educator of the Year in the public schools. She was selected to be the leader at Celebration School, the director of that school, in its early days when we were doing joint venture work with the Disney Corporation, with Harvard and Auburn, the MacArthur Foundation, and many other leading educators around the country. Dot was selected from literally thousands of administrators around the country to run the Celebration School, and that's where I got to know her. But in going to her funeral at the time, I was struck by how many of her former colleagues and friends and family remarked on something that Dot used to say to me all the time. I thought she only said it to me, but she obviously didn't. And here's what she said. Imagine the possibilities. When I think about the bar exam in 21 days, I think about imagining the possibilities. For some people, imagination runs wild in negative ways. They imagine bad things happening. They imagine failure. They imagine freezing up and not being able to remember what to do on test day. They imagine all sorts of horror stories. My computer breaks. I can't upload my answers. I forgot my admission ticket. I could go on and on. Those folks that are thinking that way are in trouble, if we're being honest. I think the much better place mentally to be right now is to imagine positive possibilities. And I know that's what Dot used to think about. Imagining the possibilities really meant imagine the wonderful things that could happen. She coaxed me into starting the speech and debate team at Celebration School. And within a few years, we were the national high school champions two years running. That was a possibility that I found hard to imagine when we first started, but that was her approach to education and to life. And I think it's got a lot of value right now as you think about your bar exam in three weeks. Can you imagine positive possibilities coming out of your test? Can you imagine yourself in a position in which you go to the exam and you're calm, you're focused, you're relaxed, you do the work that's necessary to pass? You don't have to overstudy. You don't have to overwork. You don't have to overstress, no matter what's going on around you. You have the capacity to stay in the moment to do the work that's necessary. When you imagine positive possibilities, those are the things that tend to happen. It's the law of attraction. If you go to the exam expecting the best, you're going to find that's what happens. But if you go to the exam expecting bad things to happen, you're going to find that too. And that's the key. How you study over the next three weeks in large part is determined by what you expect is going to happen on the test. Some students that I speak with right now are studying as though they need to cram as much information in their head as they can over this period of time so that it'll just roll out of them on test day. Unfortunately, that's not a very productive approach to study, not a great way to take the test, and empirically it just doesn't work very well. Then there are those who are instead trying to learn everything that there is. That doesn't work either. The best are those who are trying to focus on what they don't know. What are their weak areas? It's hard to do right now, but it pays much greater dividends on the test. If you can imagine the possibilities of going to a test in which you are delivering to the examiners the skills that they're seeking on each part of the exam as it's appropriate, you're going to have much greater success on the test as a whole. And that's the goal that you want to be shooting for with 21 days to go. Don't try to learn everything. Don't try to do everything. Don't try to be everything. Simply focus on getting better, doing a better job today than you did yesterday, writing a better essay today than you did yesterday, doing better with multiple choice questions than you did yesterday. And the same will be true tomorrow. And if you keep doing that, if you keep a positive outlook, a positive attitude, wonderful things happen. It's when you become discouraged and give up, when you start saying, I can't do it, that in fact begins to occur 
and that's what begins to happen to you. My friend Dot fought cancer for five years at the end of her life, but to see and talk to her, you would have never known it. She was up and active and around. She never let the cancer stop her. She simply acknowledged that it was part of her reality, but she always said, I can imagine the possibilities. She could imagine the possibilities in heaven. She could imagine the possibilities in her day-to-day -day living and her activities. To me, that's the greatest mark of a teacher, someone that can inspire their students to imagine the possibilities. Now, I'm nowhere near the kind of teacher or leader that Dot was, but I can tell you that the bar exam in 21 days can be everything you want it to be, and it will be everything you expect it to be. So keep reaching, keep working, keep striving, and imagine the possibilities.